before we kick things off, I just want to let you guys know of the YouTube channel Knight Errant. Now, it's probably very likely that you actually know of Ian Lespina's channel, Knight Errant, but for those of you who might not have heard of it, I feel it is absolutely necessary that I inform you because this channel is basically the best YouTube resource for educational content on medieval armor. Ian is a champion of a guy, and not only does he really know his stuff, he does a tremendous amount of research. And he presents all his information really clearly, easy to understand, and he offers many resources that you can look up to get further information about this subject. So if you don't know about Knight Errant, you have to go check out his YouTube channel. It is awesome. Greetings, I'm Shad, and if I look a little bit excited, well that's... Because I am! I am very excited to bring to you the truth about the Falchion and Messer. Which are swords, in case you didn't know. Falchion and Messer, they're, they're two types of swords. And they're very misunderstood swords in the larger scheme of things. And, you, and those who are familiar with swords, you might be thinking, well, hang on. That, I know what a falchion is, and I know what a messer is. Well, so did I! I thought I knew that too! I thought I knew it so much that I even made a video on the falchion. And, yeah, basically every single thing I say in it is utterly wrong. Like, completely incorrect. So if you, if you want to know about what the misconceptions are about the falchion, go watch my video, because, yeah, everything I say there is basically wrong. Like, I think except one thing might be right. I haven't removed that video. I've actually left it up there because uh, I'm actually very, very grateful for making it, even though it's horrible, just a complete dog's breakfast. I am very grateful for making it because if I didn't make it, I never would have known that I was wrong and therefore I would not have been able to make this video series for you. And the other reason why I've left the video up is that I'm not actually embarrassed about being wrong when I am wrong. And I've, you know, put all the notations up, you know, warning, this thing is bullcrap. But I've left it up to show that it's not an embarrassing thing to get things wrong. Because all you have to do is admit that you are wrong. And then embrace it, because guess what? You get to learn more. And when I said it was because I made that video that it enabled me learning how I was wrong, well, the way that was done was a certain individual saw the video and decided to share his knowledge with me. And his name was James Elmsley. Now it turns out that Mr. Elmsley is the foremost authority on falchions. Now you might be thinking, hang on, some random on the internet? How could he be the most foremost authority on the falchion and messer and other swords like that? Well, by doing years upon years of research, that, that, that's one way, and then also having, uh, you know, academic approval for his research, that's another way. You see, Mr. Elmsley has actually focused, like I said, years of study on an area of medieval swords that have often been neglected by most other academics, and he has actually developed a typology to finally, once and for all, we finally have a way to, ca to categorize single-edged medieval swords. Now this typology, the Elmsley typology, has actually been presented in academic conferences and museum publications. First published in the catalogue of, I can't pronounce the name so I'll put it in writing here, of the Solingen exhibition of, I also can't pronounce the name so I'll put it in writing here. Let me try and read it. Dash, dash schwert gestate und gendanke. Yeah, butchered that. It translates to the sword, form and thought. What this means is that the Elmsley typology is already academically recognized and is used by several sword manufacturers. And this wonderful gentleman who has done all this incredible research and, he, and like he's even writing a book, well he has written a book but it's still yet to be published. And, well, I have been able to work hand in hand with Mr. Elmsley to develop this video series. He's even sent me a preliminary draft of his book, which explains his typology in amazing detail. It's wonderful. So when I say that I regard Mr. Elmsley as the foremost authority on single-edged medieval swords, there's actually a lot of credibility to that statement, okay? Uh, this guy, Mr. Elmsley, he knows what he's talking about. He's done years of research. It's been peer-reviewed, published in museums, like... This is some awesome full-on stuff that not many people have even, you know, been able to look at yet. But with Mr. Elmsley's permission, I will be presenting his typology to you as a Shadowversity exclusive. 
Mr. Elmsley's website will be linked below in every single part of this video series, and those parts will be this, the introduction, part one. Part two, we will describe what the difference is between the falchion and mesa, because that <laughs> that's a very sophisticated topic in and of itself. Part three will be where do they come from? What are the origins of these swords? Part four will be what are the real swords? Debunking misconceptions and myths about how these swords function, their design and shape. And part five where I will present to you the Elmsley typology in all its glory with 3D models to accompany it. And throughout this video series, guys, you are going to learn some amazing things, all right? Because I have learned some amazing things, like things that just I hadn't even considered before. So if you think you know about these swords, well, so did I. So please follow me over to part two in this video series. What is the difference between the falchion and the messer? I hope to see you there, and until then, farewell! If you would like to support Shadowversity, or express appreciation for a video that you particularly enjoyed, please become a patron through Patreon. Your $1 donation would be absolutely wonderful.